iPhone spyware made by $1 billion surveillance company NSO has exposed major issues in Apple iMessage security, according to a security expert who has spent years researching the Israeli business hacks. Reports from Amnesty International and Citizen Lab, following on from an alleged leak of data on 50,000 potential targets of NSO's Pegasus spy tool, claimed that they had both seen a so-called zero-click attack exploiting numerous vulnerabilities in a fully patched iPhone 12 Pro Max running iOS 14.6 in July 2021. That included hacks of iMessage. Bill Marchak, researcher at Citizen Lab, told Forbes that in some cases Apple's iOS will automatically run data within iMessages and attachments, even when they're from strangers, which could put users at risk. That's a recipe for disaster, he said. Apple should consider implementing something similar to what Twitter or Facebook have for their DMs, where messages from strangers are somewhat hidden, and filtered into a separate pane by default. Right now, Marchak adds, this isn't a problem for the average iPhone user, as the target list acquired by non-profit organization Forbidden Stories mainly focused on people at high risk of government surveillance, from journalists like Financial Times editor Rula Kalaf to people close to murdered journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Heads of state were also reportedly on the potential target list. NSO has repeatedly been called out in the last five years after its tools were seen targeting Mexican lawyers, Saudi activists and journalists across the world, though it claims its software is used to help governments catch the most egregious criminals like terrorists and paedophiles. But if Apple doesn't nip this in the bud, these sorts of zero-click iMessage attacks will inevitably proliferate to less sophisticated hackers, such as cyber criminals, Marchak warned. He previously tweeted that an Apple security mechanism called Blast Door, designed to segment content in iMessage in case it contained malicious links or code, was not protecting users from such dangerous exploits. He noted that some of the exploits abused ImageIO and its JPEG and GIF image parsing features. ImageIO has had more than a dozen high severity bugs reported against it in 2021, he tweeted. Apple, however, believes its tech is doing a good job at protecting users from text-based attacks. For instance, the tech giant said that if a website link is sent to a user via iMessage, it won't reach out to a web page to get a preview of the site, and only accepts a static preview image from the sender. Blastdoor will treat these as untrusted and any code from those sites that launches should only run in a separate, protected part of the operating system. That should block any hacks being launched by a website link. Apple unequivocally condemns cyber attacks against journalists, human rights activists, and others seeking to make the world a better place.